to take a look at the guillotine that Benitez used on Brown this weekend on UFC 180. Uh, it's a guillotine that we've been doing a long time at Henzo's, uh, and it's a it's an odd grip. It's a high elbow guillotine, but with an inverted grip. So it's actually not the normal way to get your high elbow. It's an inverted palm to palm grip, which works exceptionally well to get your elbow up over the trap. Um, and how he used it was he was up against the, the cage and Brown was driving him into the cage. This is a very good time to get this particular guillotine because one of the things that makes this guillotine hard or a little challenging is actually getting the grip. So the grip sometimes can be a bit cumbersome uh, to get. Like once you drill it, it's a pretty quick grip, but sometimes you just or you, you miss it. Well, when, he, when you have a lot of time, he's driving me up against the cage, very good guillotine. So what you're going to do is you're just going to take your, your right hand, in this case, turns it upside down. So what he did in a fight, turns it upside down, and he joins his palm to palm. You can see when my hand goes in, my elbow is already high. So it's already meeting the high elbow guillotine standards. It makes it extremely difficult to, to escape and a very, very tight guillotine all across the board. In this situation, if I go for a normal guillotine, very hard for me to get my elbow up over his trap, which makes the high elbow guillotine possible. So in this type of gripping scenario, the hand goes in upside down right through his trap. I lock my palms up to palm and, and then he, Benitez put Brown asleep on the actual fight. Um, and uh, I'm sure when you guys are drilling it, you'll feel that it, it's one of those slow sleepers. Again, the grip is a normal guillotine for the left hand, but then the right hand is gonna reach through turn the palm over and exaggerate here this, that turn. We make no thumbs, we grab palm to palm, and the elbow is already in good position for that high elbow style guillotine finish. So we'll take a look at the same guillotine, but on the ground here. It's, it's how um, I used it in the past and how my training partners have used it in the past. And I'm gonna show you the the reason why I like it so much. One of the reasons why I like it so much, besides um, getting your high elbow uh, over the trap quickly, which makes a, a guillotine really difficult to counter, is is the when you when your training partner or your opponent passes your guard on this style of guillotine, he's still choking. So it's a real cool guillotine because even though he's passed on the same side, you're still going to put people to sleep, or or they will tap, or they will run back to the other side, which they're still choking. So when we set it up, we'll just set it up from an open guard type of scenario. Uh, maybe I dove in off of a single leg or something like this. I was able to get my left hand in, and then again, we take advantage of a gap that already exists. It's between his, his neck and his trap, versus I have to create the space to get my high elbow guillotine, which is with a normal grip. We don't have to create much room. I, there, there's already a little uh, gap for my right hand to slip down into and once you lock your palm you'll see the high elbow is already over his back that's the same thing that if I grab a normal guillotine and then I put my elbow over his back this one just works a little more efficient instead of having wrist flexibility or shoulder flexibility rather or just getting enough space to get that angle this one goes on immediately all I have to do is dive to the side I lock the palms forearm is already over the back now, when we lay in, you'll notice as Dane jumps across my side, he's already choking. He chokes enough to walk back or tap. So if you guys are trying this technique or drilling it, you'll feel it. Once you go to the cross side, you'll be stunned at how tight it gets when they walk around. It doesn't get loose like a normal guillotine uh, or anything like this. And the fact that my arm is up over the back, makes it exceptionally hard to pull the elbow back off. Sometimes in a high elbow guillotine, because the way your arm is, they can pull this arm back down. This way your arm is in a good anatomical position, very strong there and lights out if you use this grip. So give it a try. I've been doing this one for a while. It's a great grip. Um, and uh, it was nice to see Benitez use that in the UFC on Brown. Let's take a quick look at uh, a guillotine, an arm and guillotine that Lamas hit on the UFC 180. Uh, and it's, this is a doozy, right? It's a good one. It's an arm in sort of katagatami style choke. 
uh, guillotine based because it comes usually from when I'm on, on the, either the back of turtle. In this case, use it from basically a front head and arm position, uh, like a go behind. And what the guillotine is, is once we start hitting our go behinds or our front head and arm, I lock my palm together. You guys, you can grab a normal guillotine grip. There's a couple different grips in here. My preferred method is a normal guillotine grip. However, you can also grab palm to palm, um, which I believe is what Lamas used on the fight. But I, I'm a big fan of just a normal guillotine grip. But there's some small details that you need to, to make sure that this guillotine works. Otherwise, uh, it, he won't choke or he'll be able to pull his arm out or turn. So when we go for this guillotine, the thing that I need to do is make sure that my left leg goes in and is basically trying to touch uh, my training partner's right knee. So it's really getting in there deep so that my hip is going to catch the tricep and make this head arm choke work well. When we sit, here's the thing, right here at this point, I need to pull all the slack out. So if I miss the slack and lay down, a lot of times this head pops right out, right? If that happens, you could follow up with an arm drag just to make sure we cover, but we don't want that. That's not ideal. So as we sit, that's the time where we make sure we pull all this slack out of our left side. We yank it out. We pull our arm through, and then my, my, my left hand is in there deep, and then we can fall down, throw our legs over, and it becomes typical of a normal guillotine where we bring our hips up off the floor, we engage our, our legs in a squeeze, but we have a head arm guillotine. So from another view, if my, yep, we're gonna go front head and arm style. So we go front head and arm. I'm able to increase that distance so uh, my knee can squeeze in there. We, grab, we go ahead and lock our fist and then I dive my left knee in. That's when the slack's gotta come out. If I miss that slack, if I stay here, his head'll pop out. So we wanna make sure that as you sit, you yank all the slack out. So see my hands are gonna be all the way past his armpit, and like I said, you could go palm to palm. My preferred grip is to stay on the normal guillotine grip. When we lay down, if we're in this type of position, left foot goes on the thigh, right foot goes up on the crook of the hip. When we're finishing a guillotine, whether it be with a hook in, closed guard, so forth and so on, my outside leg needs to dig into the crook of this hip. Then we can bring our hips up, and then we can squeeze to get our finish there. Of our, of our basically modified head arm guillotine or it's katakatami style uh, guillotine choke. Another position that's typical to get this guillotine from is back control with one hook. So back control with one hook, if I feel like I'm a bit stifled, my opponent is doing a good job of controlling or whatnot, uh, this is a great place, it's hard to see coming. The right hand is gonna go right through the neck. I like to hold on to my own thigh with my right hand. And then the left hand goes and grabs. We grab before I sit, just like I'm saying before, what we need to do is as we sit, we pull the slack out, we make sure we address the slack, and then we have our head arm guillotine here. So again, from back control, it's a great place to hit this attack from. Very hard to see coming, and it's hard to feel coming, um, and it goes on rather quickly. So I throw my right arm over the top, the wrong side. I'm gonna make sure my left arm goes and gets my right hand. So we step our left leg back, but I base. I don't sit until my grip is made. Once the grip is made, I slide under, pull all the slack out, and then we throw our leg up over the top and we have our head arm grip there, head arm katagatami, guillotine style choke.